Newswatch 16's Noriana Fernando sat down with Mayor Svante Mayark this weekend. Noriana? In an exclusive interview with Newswatch 16, Ithaca's newly appointed Mayor Savante Myrick discussed his recent victory at the mayoral elections, his reaction to the proposals to increase the minimum wage in New York, and the time he met with President Barack Obama at the White House last year. Could you start off by telling us about that moment that you heard that the people of Ithaca had chosen you to be their mayor? It's a good question. It, you, you know, I actually... I cleared out the campaign office on election night as the results started to come in. You know, I had all the staff and the volunteers and <coughs> all my friends go on to the party and I stayed behind in the, the office with just, with just my mom and I. You know, I got a call with every district that came in, 18 districts, after about the 10th district that came in. Uh, we had let, yet to lose one. It was about that point, you know, I knew, I knew the night was going to go our way. I don't know, our first conversation was I asked my mom how my tie looked. She said it looked fine. Uh, you know, I, I think we were both a little bit stunned. It was a little bit of disbelief, a little bit of shock. Recently, there have been proposals to increase the minimum wage in New York from the current 725 to 850. What is your reaction to that? Do you see it happening? Do you think it should happen? I'm hopeful that it will happen. I think it should happen. I think, um, you know, 725 is, is not enough to make a living. You know, in fact, it's it's called a minimum wage, but it should be called as a poverty wage. Because if you make seven twenty-five an hour, and you work 40 hours a week, and you've got a family to support, you cannot support your family without government assistance. Please talk about how and why you were inspired about, by President Obama and his book, Dreams for My Father. And uh, I believe you have met with the President, shook hands with him. T talk about that moment. How did it feel being face to face to him, with him? It was with sure. Him. It was actually it was a wonderful experience to be at the White House uh, this past summer and, and get to meet this this man, the president, you know, to me this book read not as a political biography or memoir, you know, it's read as uh, somebody's journal, somebody's journal who I could um, empathize with, somebody I could relate to, somebody I could learn from. So uh, I was incredibly moved by his book and when he started to have success, when he won a, his Senate race, and then when he ran for president, I couldn't be more excited for him. When he won the opportunity to meet him, shake his hand and tell him, to you know, tell him directly what his book meant to me was uh, the opportunity of a lifetime. In Ithaca, New York, Noriana Fernando for Newswatch 16. 24-year-old Marek is not only Ithaca's youngest mayor, but first African-American mayor. He went on to discuss issues like securing fundings for the Commons redesign, having Cornell University contribute more towards the city's tax base, and reducing the underemployment rate in Ithaca. Back to you, Alexandra. Thanks, Noriana.